GMA cover story, the legacy of an American hero. Carry On Reflections for a New Generation is the last book from civil rights legend Congressman John Lewis. Robin, you sat down with the chief of staff who served with Lewis for more than 20 years. Michael Collins, yes, more than two decades he served, and he knows how to get into good trouble just like John Lewis did. The congressman's final book touches on courage, it touches on voting, and not taking any day for granted. We must say, wake up, America, wake up. It was his rallying cry at the March on Washington and his life's mission. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. John Lewis, the civil rights icon and revered congressman, now sharing his lasting legacy in a new book, Carry On, Reflections for a New Generation. When you see something that is not right, not fair, not just, you have to say something, you have to do something, you have to push and pull and be prepared to make a little noise. The book, a creation of recorded conversations on topics from courage to voting, shared just months before his passing from pancreatic cancer last year. This book, Carry On, tell us where he was in his life when he put this together and what does it mean to be able to, to have this now? This was to tell a story of just who he was, the simpleness of the man. And uh, it was difficult because it was during the time that he was sick and he didn't have a lot of energy, but he made an effort to really tell the story. And that's what's important. He wanted to always tell the story. A story of service and sacrifice. Michael Collins stood by Congressman Lewis's side for 21 years as his chief of staff. He never took a day for granted. And he would say, let's get ready. We got a new day, let's go. And to know that, to know all that he went through, the many times that he was jailed, beaten, and to still have that can-do, uh, the humility, and the forgiveness uh, that he shows, the happy dance. happy. <laughs> Tell us a little, the backstory. When he heard a good song, he would just light up. And on that particular day, we had a birthday party for him. Instead of singing happy birthday, we put on the happy song. And he just cut loose. Nothing can bring me down. It's right. And that's the way he was. He was, that was his spirit. That was his motivation, to be happy. He would say, just be happy. Throughout his lifetime of fighting for justice and equality, the congressman never giving up on optimism and the right to peaceful protest. Writing this in the wake of what happened with George Floyd, what would he think of what is going on around the country? He would be, you know, disappointed in a lot of ways the hatred, the racism, but he was optimistic that there would be a better day, a different day, a day where everybody would be happy, would benefit, would be put in front and not behind. He always looked for that. And would he also, though, be encouraged by the young people? Oh, yes. Much like himself oh, yes. back definitely. in the day. Most definitely. I mean, it's what this country was built on, you know, the youth movement. And that's what he always believed in. He talked to young people all the time. He traveled this country inspiring young people because he too was young and felt like he changed the world. John Lewis has changed the world and continues to inspire with what he called good trouble, sharing these final reflections. How do you want people to remember you? That I fought a good fight. I kept the faith and I kept my eyes on the crimes. How do we carry on his legacy? He was intentional. He was purposeful. He lived a wonderful life, an amazing life, and we all benefited from it. And so I think that, you know, he would want us to just carry on in a way that reflected his life and just learn about it, learn about everything we could. And part of Congressman Lewis's lasting legacy is the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, which has yet to be passed in Congress. He believed that the vote was sacred. Everyone should exercise this power. That's what he believed and had the right to do so. And Carry On, Reflections for a New Generation is out now. It is beautiful. Mm. It's simple. It's and you know, real. He changed the course of the country, but you also saw it in your conversation right there. He also inspired loyalty among those closest to him mm. every single day. When we played for Michael Collins some of the audio from John Lewis, he broke down into just hearing his voice. You could hear the impact, and he had people around him for so. And he loved to have young people around him, and to encourage him. Sure and, did. And so, but Great. it is. It's a. It's a simple book. It's. It's beautiful. And as we said, it is out now. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.